the release of Wave 6 on the horizon, I thought it was best to give my final predictions for the final wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Wook here, and today I'll be going over my final predictions for Wave 6 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. First, I'll be doing a giveaway once the channel hits 2,000 subscribers for a $20 Nintendo eShop card. So that means to join the giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed. Also, if you want to talk all things Mario Kart or about anything in general, join my Discord server. The link will be in the description down below. Oh, I also started an esports team called Team Solar and I'm looking for players and content creators for games like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Super Smash Bros, and Pokemon Unite. If you just want to support the team and join the community, that's great too. The link to the Solar Discord server will also be in the description down below. Now let's get on with the video. So I'll be doing two types of predictions. One will be what I actually think will get in, and the other will be my fun version. That will have tracks that will most likely not make it in, but Nintendo could possibly surprise us with them. Let's start with the serious predictions. For the first track of the Acorn Cup will be Rome Avanti. This track is based off the City of Rome and was introduced in Mario Kart Tour alongside the Night Tour. You race through so many different landmarks of Rome, especially the amazing Colosseum. With this track being a little on the less chaotic side of things, it makes the perfect fit to be the opener of the Acorn Cup. For the second track will be Daisy Circuit. This track was announced during the recent Nintendo Direct, so it is 100% going to be in the wave. This track fits to be in the first cup, but after the city track because all other cups start with a city track. This track was supposed to be a GameCube track, but I believe Daisy Circuit replaced it. In the end, it fits the whole theme of saying farewell to the Booster Course Pass as we make way for the next Mario Kart game. For the third track, I believe will be the wonderful Dino Dino Jungle. That's right, I said it. Jungle beats DK Mountain. Now before you all start going crazy in the comment section, hear me out. DK Mountain just seems to be very similar to DK Summit. They both start with DK, they both have a huge cannon section that brings you all the way to the top of a mountain just for you to drive back down it. Jungle has some awesome sections that would work great in anti-gravity, and I think it would just fit the overall vibe so much better than Mountain. To round off the Acorn Cup will be the amazing Piranha Plant Cove. Man, I'm so shocked that this track didn't make it in Wave 5 with the release of Petey Piranha. This track is gorgeous, and the music just hits. I really, absolutely, really need to hear this played by the Deluxe Band. The underwater ruins give Atlantis vibes, there's so many shrines to Petey Piranha, and just overall it gives a nice Dolphin Shoals feel. This track makes the perfect way to end the Acorn Cup. Now let's get on to the final cup of the Booster Course Pass, the Spiny Cup. To start off this cup will be Madrid Drive, the newest and last city track to appear in Mario Kart Tour and now Deluxe. This track races through the beautiful city of Madrid, Spain, taking in all the wonderful scenery while racing down the track. This track is a little bit more upbeat than Rome Avanti, which makes it the perfect start to the final cup. For the second track, I believe will be another Piranha Plant track, which is Piranha Plant Pipeline. This track is funky, the music slaps, and it's pretty much a sequel to Piranha Plant Slide. I couldn't picture a more crazier track to be included, it 100% fits to be in the final cup. Now I know you might be like, wait a second, wait a second, you didn't want DK Mountain because it's similar to DK Summit, so why would you want two Piranha Plant tracks in the same wave? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is the last Nitro track of Mario Kart Tour, so it makes sense for it to be the goodbye track of Mario Kart Tour and now Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. In the end, I'm going to be really excited to see this track in the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe engine. The third track which I believe will follow that classic Mario Kart tradition will be SNES Bowser Castle 3. This track received a massive glow up for Mario Kart Tour, and I'd be shocked if this track doesn't make the cut. Nintendo always goes from a Bowser Castle to a Rainbow Road, so what better way to lead into the final track of the Spiny Cup, Wii Rainbow Road. I have no doubt the last track will be the amazing, beautiful Wii Rainbow Road. So to recap my predictions, for the Acorn Cup you will have Rome Avanti, Daisy Circuit, Dino Dino Jungle, and Piranha Plant Cove. For the Spiny Cup, you will have Madrid Drive, Piranha Plant Pipeline, SNES Bowser Castle 3, and Wii Rainbow Road. Now let's get over to the fun predictions. This will consist of already confirmed tracks as well as some new ones. This would be my personal wish list of tracks. For the Acorn Cup, Rome Avanti, Daisy Circuit, Wario Coliseum. Yeah, dude, this track needs to make a comeback. Like. It just needs to. It's a freaking big cage ball. It is needed to come back into Mario Kart. It would be a massive curveball if Nintendo added its Wave 6. And then obviously we would end with Piranha Plant Cove. Now this is where the fun begins. For the Spiny Cup, Madrid Drive, Toad's freaking Factory. Like, why is this track not even in the base game of Deluxe? Like, it's amazing. 
And you know what they could do if they brought back Toad's factory? They could bring back colored toads and add it as a fun inclusion for the ending of wave six it's the colored toads why aren't they in the game like they have colored shy guys and colored yoshis like come on nintendo give us some more toads throw in captain toad too just give us some more toads and then we would go to airship fortress which i know is a fan favorite for everyone and we would end with the best rainbow road of all time and i know you're going to criticize it in the comments you're going to criticize me Freaking GameCube Rainbow Road. It's the best Rainbow Road. You have that big pipe that shoots you up to the top and you just fly around all cool. It would work so neat in anti-grav and you can't tell me otherwise. We, y'all got so much uh, freaking representation in this game. Give us some more GameCube. Let us end with Rainbow Road. You can't tell me this cup for a finale wouldn't slap. It is stacked. Anyway... That's my rant and fun stuff. In the end, I'll be happy with whatever courses make it in. I'm just finally excited that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is going to come to an end and we can finally start moving on to the next Mario Kart game. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below on which tracks you think we will see in Wave 6. As always, hope to see you in the next video. Look out.